Hey there. Hey, if you're loving the tips so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there and then tap the little bell so that you never miss out on more free cool tips coming your way. Also, I would love to hear from you. Drop a comment beneath there. Let me know what you think or tell me what you'd like to hear next. Um, have you seen that little video thing I've been doing with chat GPT and asking it, what's the best use of time for a loan officer? Yeah, I think I saw that on Breakfast Club. Yep. It's very interesting. So if you're listening today and you haven't heard it, if you go on chat GPT and ask it, um, what is the closing ratio of social media leads? It runs about 0.5%, like 0 0.5 to 1%. Uh, and then for realtor referrals, it said, uh, chat GPT said 20 to 40%, which is actually... I thought that was a little on the high side, actually. I 40% would be so in other words, so it means like if I get if I get a hundred leads on social media, I'll close between like half of a deal. In other words, I'd need a hundred leads to close one. And maybe and maybe at best I'll close one out of a hundred. So that that's one percent, right? Whereas on the realtor referrals, for every hundred leads I get from real estate agents. Uh, it's saying we should close between 20 and 40. I, I've never done, I thought 40 was on the high side. I've, I'm usually closer to about like, um, let's say about 20%, 22%, 18%, 23%, maybe 25% on a good week. So the 40% is pr pretty good. But anyway, mm -hmm. so the point being is we really got to ratchet up our game on prospecting to real estate agents. So you agree? I mean, you talk to loan officers all day long, right? You, any any, uh, any disagreement on that statement? Not for me, nope. Yeah, Sounds that's all I have. Yeah. And um, so by the way, did, did, did we, did we, did I introduce you? I think one time on the breakfast club. So I don't know if wow. everyone knows, but um, I help loan officers out, um, help them close more loans. So yes, you yes you I'm do. I'm that person. You're that person. You're Mrs. It's you're Miss Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're Miss Awesome. So this is Jamie Clark. How long have we been working together, Jamie? Two and a half years. Almost. Two and a half years. Is that all? I I feel like I've known you for a long time. I know it's been like in a good way, right? In a very good way. I feel like I've known you a long time. So all right. So um, so on on uh on. Real estate agent marketing, you know, frankly, nothing seems to work better than the phone, right? Making like yeah. making phone calls, having meetings with them. And some people might fun make fun of that. Anybody makes fun of that, 100% of them close less than my team does, right? So we close 400 loans a month these days, somewhere in that, somewhere in that range, our team. And, um, overwhelmingly is from real realtor referrals and uh past database represents uh, probably 90%, 95%, something like that. Right. So I found that in marketing to real estate agents, like we have three basic groups that we're calling on. And so we have to, we, we have to meet with them first, right? Even if we know them, we still got to meet with them. Right. And, and meeting might be to these days might be a Zoom meeting, but uh, I find that there's like there's three groups that we have those agents that we haven't met with yet. So I'm going to call that the pre coffee meeting. Now, when we call it a coffee meeting, it doesn't necessarily mean you drink coffee per se. It, it could again just be a Zoom meeting, but just right. for so people understand what we're talking about, we call it the the coffee meeting, right? And maybe it is in face to face, right? So you have the pre coffee meeting where you uh you haven't met with them yet so you're making a phone call to them to hey jamie my, my loan officer larry uh you're the listing agent on a deal we're doing and uh frankly i looked up your numbers and saw your numbers impressive um i'm a student of success i'd love to treat you to a cup of coffee see what are you doing that's got you smacking it out of the park right so that's a pre-coffee phone call right and so I've got my list of agents that are that I'm prospecting that are my pre-coffee agents. The next group is my post-coffee agents. So it's those agents that I've I've now I've I, they were pre-coffee. I called with them to meet them. 
And then I met with them again at face-to-face -face, zoom, maybe even just a phone call, but we met with each other. And now I'm calling them once a week at, you know, uh, asking for the business. Right. So I'm calling them every, every, uh, you know, once a week and asking for the business. And so that's post coffee. And then focus 40 is I called them pre coffee. I met with them. I called them post coffee for 12 weeks. And they started sending me over referrals. And so three groups pre coffee, I haven't met with yet. Post coffee, I met with, but they're not sending me, and I'm calling them, but they haven't sent me leads yet. Mm -hmm. And then focus 40, I'm looking to get 40 agents that I've met with that are qualified, which means eight buyer sides or more in the last 12 months, right? But we don't call anybody that's not qualified, right? That doesn't make yeah. any sense, right? No, yeah. they they got that's like going to a going to an oak tree looking for apples. They they even if they like me, that they, they don't. They don't have apples, right? They don't have deals, right? So it's not going to work. And so the focus 40 are those agents that I, I met with. And then I followed up and they started referring to me. Right. And and I'm, and we call it the focus 40. When you have 40 of them, you're closing 20 to 30 loans a month, you know, somewhere in that neighborhood, somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark. And so you want to get to that focus 40 as quick as possible. So that's the three basic groups that uh that we're calling on and that's just the basic groups of realtors right that's monday calls yeah that's right that's a that's a basic and well we say realtors i mean uh certainly they could be financial planners um you know divorce attorneys i just find for every 10 qualified real estate agents for me i'll get more deals than if i meet with 10 financial planners um, so, so, so certainly we get referrals from financial planners and divorce attorneys and, uh, other business owners for sure, but nobody sends over as many referrals as, uh, as a good qualified real estate agent, a, a real estate agent. I'll give you a stat, a real estate agent that closes eight buyer sides per month on average also close eight listings. I'm sorry, did I say that right? Eight buyer sides in the last year. So qualified agent, eight buyer sides in the last year. So that same agent likely had just as many listings, likely. So they had 16 deals. The average top producing real estate agent closes 5% of their leads. That's a shockingly low number, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, because they don't have a great loan officer helping them out, right? So help them convert those leads. So with, and again, if you go in chat GPT, what's the average closing ratios for real estate agents, it's going to be 5%. Mm -hmm. So that means that if they closed 16 deals last year, that means they got 320 leads cause it's cause 5% of 320 is 16 deals. Right. And if they get 320 leads per year, that means they're averaging 27 per month or about one a day. So they've got a lot of leads to give us, right? A lot. And by the way, they don't speak with, follow up with over half of them because they don't have the time because they don't have a great loan officer helping them following up on all their leads. And that's where you can come in. And that's where we, that's right. That's where, that's where we come in. So I think, so when you're making your calls on Monday, I don't know if you can hear my cat sitting here barking at me here. My cat, it's, it's lunchtime for my cat. So, um, so on the qualified agents, we have pre-coffee, post-coffee, focus 40. So now it's Monday morning. Mm -hmm. We're really busy. We got contracts in. Who do we absolutely positively, like of those three groups, which one do you think you'd call on first? The post coffee. Close. You're close. Oh, okay. So, no, no, it's close. It's close. It's close. So we 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 call on the focus 40 first because these are the ones that's already sending us deals. So we want to make darn sure we're following up on them. All right. Like I, can, I can get busy. I can get things going on. But these are the ones. These are the apple trees is giving me apples. You water them first. Right. 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 So they're, 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 
They will show me the money. They're showing you the money. You want to call them first. And then, assuming you have time, then you call the post office because there's no need to meet with agents if you're not going to follow up with them. And if I meet with you and then I don't follow up with you, Jamie, you're going to think, well, Carl's not great at follow up. And he's not going to follow up with my leads either. So I'm not going to send them to him. Nope. Right? Right. So we're going to call on the money tree first. And then we're going to call on those that we met with that's not sending us deals yet. And only after that, then we call the uh, the the pre-coffee agents that we haven't met with yet. Right. Is this, this, I, is this easy enough to follow? Am I, make, I, I know sometimes... Like if you're if you're listening, like if people are those watching this, they're they're walking the park, they're they're walking their dog, they're on the treadmill, they're, you know, they're they're driving the car to work, they're in the grocery store, and sometimes it's hard to go over percentages and numbers. But but was that was that was that, was that clear? Definitely. So in my head, I was like, okay, so we just met with these people, you know, post coffee. Maybe we want to check in on them. But your explanation of like they already showed us the money, so logically to me that just makes like the most sense. So we're already working together. You're the most important to me. And we're going to focus on the people who are, you know, second most important. That's right. It's and still important. Three people. Then it's the prospecting after that. So that's it. That's it. And, you know, Jamie, um, a lot of people have the false uh, belief that you have to be cold calling people. And I don't think there's anything wrong with cold calling, right? There's nothing wrong with it. I've, I've cold called before in my, in my uh, early in my uh, career. Um, but you don't have the cold call. I found out, come to find out What's that? that I, well, so I can go, I can go like, who are those listing agents that I've closed with in the last year or two, right? That's not sending me business that are qualified, right? right. So who are those people? I can call on them because we've worked together in the past, or I can take a list like of all the qualified agents in my area and take it to my favorite title company. And uh, and ask them, hey, favorite title company, on this list of these top producing agents, who are the nice ones? Like, who's friendly? And let's say you're the title agent, Jamie. I take it to you and you go, um, so here's the 27 people that come to my title company, Carl. And these are, you don't want to call on these three. They're, this guy's kind of snooty. This guy's kind of snooty. This lady, her husband's a loan officer, right? So no need to call on her, at least this month, right? And uh <laughs> And so, uh, but these other 27, they're super nice. And I work with them and I'd say, well, Jamie, is it, so I'm going to call them up. Is it okay if I drop your name? And you're always going to say, sure. You know, so I can say, cool, I'm going to call them up and say, hey, you're going to tell how successful, how nice they were. And if I'm, you know, calling, it would probably might be a good, you know, that I ought to, ought to hang out with them a little bit, you know, get to know them, but, you know, get to see what they're doing to be such, so successful, you know, that uh, maybe we can do some collaborations of sorts. And so now when I call him and I drop, hey, I was over at Jamie's uh, title company, Jamie's office, and uh, Jamie couldn't stop talking about how how awesome you are. And frankly, I went and looked up your numbers. Holy cow, you're smacking out of the park. You know, I'd love to, I'm a student of success and I'd love to treat you to a cup of coffee or, or a, do a Zoom meeting with you to see what you're doing that's making you so successful. And uh, And now it's not a cold call because we have a mutual friend. Right. You know, like if you have a buddy, if you have a, a guy call you and say, hey, I was... I was at a party and I met with, you know, Tom and Tom said, Hey, we, we ought to go catch a cup of coffee and go, okay, I'll, I'll give this guy a shot, you know, as a, you know, for a date or something like that, you know, at a safe mm -hmm. place, of course. Right. Am I right? Uh, right. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm you're, 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 yeah, you're, you, you might be spoken for, I don't know if you're spoken <laughs> for or not, but you get the idea that, that it, it doesn't have to be a cold call because there's enough ways to, uh, to find people that you know, or that you worked with, or you know somebody who knows them, uh, which the title company for me has always been the easiest way to do that. And so uh, the main thing I wanted to do on on this episode, uh, and I appreciate you helping me out with this, Jamie, is just talk about how um, how important it is to uh, those that's already seen your business, you, you got to call them right away. Like you can't ever miss those people. You got to call them every single week. And then if you've met with some agents and you're not following up, you've just totally wasted your time. Stop doing that and just, just you know, call them next. And only after that, that's when you do your, uh, your, your, your new prospecting. So, uh, so um, I think that's it. I think so too. That yeah. We covered that okay? 
think you hit the ball in the park there. So I, I think we did too. So, uh, <laughs> Hey, so, um, let's see, we got to give a call to action here. What do we, what do we do? You, you know what we need to do? Just go to wantmoreloans.com, wantmoreloans.com. And, uh, we'll set up a little zoom meeting and we'll walk you through this process and we'll give you all the scripts to them. And, um, and somebody goes, well, Carl, what's the catch? What's the catch? Well, the catch is that uh, we're going to demonstrate we can help you by doing something very weird and actually help you, right? That's what we do. And the idea is we're going to walk you through exactly what one of these coaching calls look like, and we're going to give you one. And you might, at the end of that call, you might go, awesome, got everything I need. Thanks for the scripts. I took a couple of screenshots. Totally cool. I got this all alone by myself. I'm good to go. Awesome. That's great. And a certain percent will do that. But we know that uh, a certain percent will go, man, that was pretty awesome. Can we do more of this? Well, yes, you can. And then we talk about the programs that we offer uh, to help people do that. But either way, it's totally cool. And if you've never done one of these, do yourself a favor. You'll shave years off of your growth, even with a certain, in my belief, even with just one call, we'll walk you through it. And if you're really lucky, if you're really lucky, you might even talk to Jamie. But that's only if you're like, you know, those those that those that those that don't get up to her standards, well, they 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 talk to me or or Kristen or you know, there's a couple of us over here that'll walk you through it. But if you get if you talk real nice and, and get lucky and you say, Well, can I talk to Jamie? You you that might actually happen. So uh, but uh, only if they're lucky, right, Jamie? That's all right. Only if they're lucky. So uh, anyway, I think that's it. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for being on here. I just I like yeah. I don't know I, I like talking to you, and I thought it just uh, I thought it uh, if I could I could have done this solo, but it wouldn't have the same flavor if, if I'm sitting here talking to somebody. And uh, oh, well, thanks for having me on, Carl. I, I appreciate you doing it. Yeah, so cool. And so, guys, y'all need to give us feedback that you want to hear more of Jamie because she loves doing this. She loves this part and would oh, love boy. to do it more <laughs> with a little bit of your positive words to her. And so if you're watching this on the podcast, whatever platform, if you'll leave a great review and just put Jamie was awesome, I'll have her on here more often. Same thing if you're watching this on YouTube, Jamie was awesome. Would love to hear from her more. And uh, we'll make sure to make that happen. Sound good, Jamie? Sounds good. All right. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate you. So want more loans or even, even at least as important, go leave a great review and talk about how awesome Jamie was. So thanks, everybody. I appreciate you having a little fun with us and, uh, but take this stuff serious. Like this is really good stuff. And uh, we're really looking forward to helping you uh, grow your business even more, even better than what it is now. So thanks again. And we'll talk to you when you call in. Bye-bye. Bye guys.